Hello besties, welcome back to my channel Sarani YT. So today I was wondering how many days have we been friends, besties? So many days, right? And still, did you subscribe? No, I hear a no. Why? Why, bestie? Why? What did I do to you? I give you book reviews. I give you book suggestions. I give you everything related to books. Don't you love books? So today, I have another gift for you, which you are very ungrateful of. So today we are going to review Wish I Could Tell You. You are saying this literally inverted? No problem. Today we are going to review Wish I Could Tell You. So, talking about the quotes, there are no favorite quotes from this book. Practically there were no quotes in this book. Nothing relatable, nothing emotional, nothing, you know, heart wrenching who like, how can I explain it, who like slow paced books, right, it's for them, who like everything to be calm and not really twisty and all that. So this book is quite straightforward, there is a huge plot twist at the ending but till then there is nothing, practically everything goes in a very plain way. So this book is for those people who like it that way. So let's discuss about the character arc of the two characters who are prominent in this book. One is Anand Khatri and the other is Anusha Sardana. So talking about Anand Khatri, there is um, very little I can tell you without spoilers but I can tell you one thing, his point of view is very boring, I didn't enjoy it, I didn't find it uh, really interesting. And uh, next is Anusha Sardana. So talking about her, she works at a company called We Donate where they raise funds. So she has to raise funds for a boy called Gotham who has a medical condition. So she starts, so she has to write a piece, right, which will raise funds for Gotham. So she starts uh, discovering more about him and during this process she turns from a pessimistic emotionless girl to a girl who sees good in the worst person right uh, it's good in a person who is deemed to be the bad person for the world right so that is why I found her character really interesting and it's really motivating the theme which was delivered through her character so now discussing the theme of this book. The theme of this book is that everybody who is rude on the outside, who behaves like they are bad people, they are the villains of the world, there is something in their past which is causing them to behave that way, right? So this story basically motivates us to see through people to see through their darkness and find good in them and encourage that good in them so that they become a good person from a bad person, right? So this story tells, uh, I found a very interesting part in the story where it was discussed how all of us are rude at some point if we weren't scared of something, like if we weren't scared of God or if we weren't scared of people judging us, all of us are rude. So that was really interesting concept and this book is a three star read for me and it, it was a bit slow paced for me but if you enjoy slow paced books, this book can be a five star read for you. So that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye bye and I'm counting our days of friendship. So do subscribe because if we if we pass say 10 days of friendship and you don't subscribe, I'm not going to call you bestie anymore. Yes, I take an oath. I'm not going to call you bestie anymore. Bye-bye.